Hey everyone, how is everyone doing on this uh, uh, Monday night, Monday, January, uh, what is it for a second? January the 2nd, 2023, how are you all doing by the way, huh? How was your new year? So far, huh? So far so good? Well, mine has been so far so good, although, I think, uh, is it party hard? Yes or no? Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, um, then yesterday, I mean, I told you guys my cousin, uh, he's like a younger brother, you know, him and his wife are visiting me and they're leaving tomorrow for DC. So, as you can see, I'm doing the podcast from my bedroom, right? Oh man, I feel, I realize that I, I need I need more things on the uh, on the wall. You can see in the back, right? I have our wedding pictures, me and my wife's, and so the other things, right? And then I have the TV here in the front, right? And um, and so I had a great time with them, and I hope uh, you know they had a great time too. You know, um, they're going to be company, and uh, you know we were, you know we cooked some food. His wife cooked. Some food really good, we like biryani again tonight, right? That was so nice. And, uh, and you know, I made some salad and then we made, uh, what do you call the, the yogurt sauce, right? Right, uh, whatever. Some like lamb biryani, that was really nice. And um, I'm gonna miss that, you know, I'm gonna miss that. They were, they were you know, they were cooking. And, uh, you know, having home food, etc. And then we were hanging out. Yesterday we hung out in Brooklyn, right? But then I ended up in like my old neighborhood of Brooklyn Heights, and I don't know why. I'm like, what am I doing here? You know? Oh my goodness. But in any case, so I came back and then uh, I came back and, uh, you know, they had their uh, wedding anniversary dinner, so I suggested them no more kitchen, to go to no more kitchen, which I, which I believe they did yesterday. I mean, the food department didn't like the food, I think. But in any case, so in general, I think we had, uh, I had a great time with them, you know. I was hanging out with them as well. Um, the last, uh, oh, so the, uh, the uh, what do you call the uh, the uh, New Year's Eve, right? New Year's, we went to my sister's place in Long Island City. You know, they ordered some Chinese food, some good Chinese food, and then from there we drove down to uh, Park Slope to uh, I guess my my sister's obviously husband friends, and they were having a house party. Me and my cousin, we actually. We went to this place called Doris. Doris is a bar in Fulton. I used to hang out back in 2015, 2016, right? It, it's such a cute place, cute place. You know, me and my cousin went there. We dropped them off at their friend's house. And then later on, you know, towards like midnight when they were doing fireworks and all that, right? And that's when we went there. But, uh, the weather was kind of like nasty, you know, it was like raining, drizzling, raining. But then later on, you know, it cleared. I realized that the later on it did clear. And, uh, and um, you know, we saw some fireworks. You know? I think they uh, also saw some fireworks, which is good, right? New York experience. And, uh, yeah, and then, uh, and then, uh, uh, yesterday we went, we went back to Brooklyn, hung out there, you know, uh, we went to Time Out Market, right? We want to go to Brooklyn Flea, but Brooklyn Flea was closed because of New Year's, but then, you know, they have the Time Out Market, right? The Time Out Magazine, remember? 
So they have a heartbeat up there, including up on the roof. They have a restaurant with like pizza, you know, one of those. What are the things called? Fornino. The Fornino is up there. Yeah. And I had one beer. And I ordered the Gromage, that pizza margarita, right? I wanted them to actually, actually taste, you know, beer yeah. pizza. I'm sorry. I just want to stretch my legs a little bit. Um, so, the, yeah, we did that. And then from there, you know, they went for dinner, you know, the anniversary, wedding anniversary dinner. So, <laughs> and then I came back and uh, they weren't back. So I just, you know, I was so tired and then I just slept, you know. So, in any case, uh, how is everyone doing? Huh? Happy New Year's again. And I'm pretty sure you guys are going to leave all that. Mm -hmm. whatever you had in 2022 in the past right bad karma now you know you basically embraced the new year right? with some good karma and with some good you know whatever you are planning to do this year right well I, I'm, for me and my wife the big thing is obviously for, for us to be together right so you know that has been obviously a thing for us and you know it sucks that we're not together because of the whole visa situation and all that right we're trying to actually also you know apply for her uh, visitor's visa in addition to you know the one through my uh, marriage right so we're gonna do that and um and uh hopefully you know she'll be here sooner because obviously I miss her and she does too, right? And yeah, man, you know, it's just, it's not easy. Uh, I'm sorry, maybe I shouldn't do this. I apologize, sorry. So this is the dresser, right? In uh, right about TV. And then she's going to use it because I don't use it for anything, you know? I just use the space in the uh, closet right here outside the bedroom, right? so yeah so that's you know that's a big thing for us and i think i'm going to go there to pakistan end up uh hopefully this month early uh february right so i have my ticket and uh yeah i gotta plan that you know i gotta confirm with her and uh and just we have to fix the dates you know What is it going on? All oh, right, so we were watching. Um, oh yeah, we were watching the Star Wars, the the, the first one, right? <clears throat> the first one, I think. Did you watch it yesterday or today? Oh, today. All right. When uh, when we went to uh, there's some breakfast, right? From Wonder Bagels. And after that, we watched Star Wars. And um, I think they kind of liked it, the first one, right? New Hope. Far, far in the galaxy, the Rebel Alliance, blah, 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 you know. Ba, 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 You know, the text comes first, right? Skywalker is uh, wherever. It doesn't matter, right? Okay, so... And then we were trying to watch right after dinner. We we're trying to watch another movie. What's it called? Uh, uh, with Ed Norton, Edward Norton, right? And his movies are like kind of like the same kind of genre movies, I think. And then Daniel Craig is in there. Dave Bautista is in there, right? A huge ensemble cast. But that movie is ah, not good. Oh my God. It's. Uh, it's a sequel, kind of like this, I think, to the original one. Uh, what is it called? Craigslist? Craigslist? What did I say? Craig, not Craigslist, sir. Um, it's called, uh, you know, New, hold on a second. New, um, Daniel Craig movie. Mm -hmm. 
So, and that movie basically just, it just started getting boring, to be honest with you. And then we stopped it, right? And, um, it's on Netflix. I read Jesus, it's funny. What I don't want to give you all the wrong information. Um, Neil, Neil, Daniel, Craig, Moving. Cool. Glass Onion, right? Glass Onion and Knives Out Mystery, right? This is from September of this year, right? So I thought it would be like a little more interesting, but it didn't, it wasn't interesting here. And uh, by any case, so uh, uh, I don't think I actually watched the, the, the original one from when, when was it from, sir? Nobody you know for but I don't think I ever watched it. So here I am doing my podcast on a Sunday night, I mean Monday night, I'm sorry, and and uh, tomorrow is the first work day of the year. First working day of the year. And um I gotta get all that fucking you know uh money, collect all the money, my bills from the freaking clients, right? I know that the new year's is over. And we are back to like, you know, we are back to the uh, the tray of work, right? Which is good. Work is good. It keeps you, you know, strong, right? Yeah. But you got to be, you got to be paid for, you know, for your hard work, right? Obviously. So that's what we got to do. You know? And, um, And this week, obviously, you know, today was already Monday, right? So this week is kind of short, but, uh, you know, my workers, my interns will be there. And so we got to get big on that, right? And, uh, I mean, I don't want to, like, turn my podcast into, like, my work schedule or schedule in general, right? And so they're gonna go, my cousin and his wife, they're gonna go tomorrow to DC. I have recommended. And it looks like they have a few more days before they drive back to Michigan, right? Detroit, outside Detroit. And so, <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, you know, I told them to go to the mall and then, you know, see the monuments and maybe, you know, see the Congress. Or, uh, you know, a couple of Smithsonian's museums, right? Well, which one is it down there? Oh, the Spa Air and Space Museum is, that's a really good one. Air and Space Museum, right? That's part of the Smithsonian's. But in case, so they're going to do their thing tomorrow. And then after that, they're probably going to go come back to Philadelphia. And then, then, then from there, I think they're going to go up towards Michigan, right? Drive. So they drive. All right. So... Um, I, uh, I think, did I, didn't I say that, that I just came in from Orlando and weather here is actually kind of like not cold, which is good, New York, New Jersey, unexpectedly, and we never, we haven't had any snow yet. Am I going to jinx this? Hopefully not. I'm not going to jinx, hopefully, the weather. And, uh, just imagine that, you know, we have tomorrow, for example, it's like 50s, right? But with rain. Which I don't mind. I don't mind the rain as long as it's not too fucking crazy, windy, right? And as long as the temperature is above 40, right? Exactly so. Um, I, uh, I can't raise my voice, sorry, because they're, they're sleeping next door. So. In any case, so. I, uh. I have to, you know, I have to buy a ticket. I'm gonna talk to my wife tomorrow. When I wake up, as soon as I wake up, and then uh, we're gonna decide on the date, sure. I'm thinking I'm gonna fly to Karachi, most likely. You know, why not try to see also, uh, you know, the region, right? And, um, 
and uh you know and then from there we're gonna fly into Islamabad China you know all right so um what else is going on it looks like all the people from mountains from the mountains they are a down country because of the weather right obviously mountain you'll get and in Hunza's is cold right I mean my cousins are there you know all the other people are going there for like a, a month or maybe two months until you know the weather breaks in the mountains right because it's just it's not only i think i think it's not only the cold cold is probably not that like crazy right you know let's say we'll get down we'll get right it's, I mean, it's, yeah, it does get cold, but the problem is that they usually don't have electricity either, right? So there's no facilities. There's really nothing to do in, 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 in winter, right? So, uh, I mean, unless you're working there, then obviously we have to work, but then other than that, there's no electricity. I think people should actually install the solar panels. I think, yes, you should get, yes, how we can get the electricity, right? But the problem is that nobody, Nobody can afford. No, I shouldn't say nobody can afford, but not a lot of people can afford those, sir. Those are expensive, you know. So, is the government going to do a project? Well, we were talking about this Basha Dam project, right? Which is basically like 40 kilometers south of this town called Chilas, right? Which is part of our region, right? And that's going to produce like 4,800 megawatts of electricity. So, why can't we get at least like 100 megawatts? 100 megawatts for us, right? Up north. Why can't we get that? So I don't know. I don't know what the what the deal the politicians have made. Politicians from, uh, you know, from Hunza and, you know, I mean, Gilgit and Chilas and like Pakistan, right? I would, if I'm one of the politicians, I would definitely ask for at least like 100 megawatts for, for that whole region. Because you know? the river comes from our area. So we should have some rights, right? I hope they do, and I hope that they run like transmission lines, right? My brother probably knows that better because he's, uh, you know, he's he's an electrical engineer, and uh, and uh, I think he knows. He has worked for the same company, government, right? When he was in Pakistan, right before he moved to Sweden, right? So again, I'm hoping that you know this problem this like never ending problem of electricity in that region is solved and resolved once and for all right the other project i think i mentioned that in my uh, in my previous podcast is the lake that formed remember in 2010 on the river right and that lake now obviously you know is a natural disaster lake right it took some you know some land <clears throat> upstream of the river right when it formed but then now i think we should make a use of that because that lake is there now it's not going anywhere right so i think there there's a project for uh, at least a, at least like a 50 meg megawatts you know uh, hydroelectric generation right i'm hoping that that's going to happen too and um my my like talking too fast i'm sorry i mean you know i guess maybe i am because it's already like 12 it's like 12 18 a.m or actually you know tuesday morning basically you know and i had to get up sir i had to get up tomorrow's work day and you know well, I can't be like, you know, I can't be doing podcasts. I shouldn't be doing podcasts this late, but I guess because I didn't want to do it tomorrow because, you know, I want to focus on like work. I have to be on the freaking drawing board on my computer, you know, and um, and so I can't afford to like, you know, do like a little setup, the, you know, the whole thing to do the podcast. So I want to basically focus on work to you know you know and we got defined and such am i going to talk about my work again i'm sorry i apologize um so what's up with the 2023 what's uh what's in for all of us for 2023 i don't think anything is in for in for 
then you have first flat mirror. I think it's uh, what you make out of sir, man, right? Every other gender associations, it's what you make out of your life in this year or the year to come and, you know, yeah, you can see your future, but, but, uh, you know, you can plan, you can plan and then, you know, plan in a better way and then, you know, and, and, uh, also plan efficiently. Efficiency is important, right? Save money. For God's sake, save some money and, and, you know, and, uh, that kind of a thing, right? That kind of thing. Who am I preaching to, sir? Which choir am I preaching to? Well, sir, maybe you should do the same for yourself. Yes, I should do the same for myself, too. I'm not saying that I'm, like, exempt from all of this. Of course, and I have to live a life. It's not only me now. It's me and my life, right? Two of us. And then down the road, if we want to have a kid, that too, right? Very good. So, um, what do I want to talk about on my podcast today, huh? You guys tell me what should I talk about, huh? On this kind of like gloomy Monday night. We didn't, really, we didn't do anything today. Yeah, it was such a lazy Monday and perfect. It was sunny, sunny though. After all that rain and all that, you know. And uh, we just went to the bagel shop, right? Got our bagels and breakfasts and whatnot, right? Omelets, right? And uh, then we watched that movie and I was, oh, I finished, I was working on uh, editing the book that I, 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 I want to publish, you know, fourth edition for, for work, you know? So I did that and I sent that to my, uh, you know, my wife. I mean, I scanned it and sent it to my wife. So she came forward to my sister who is going to edit make the changes right edits and then send it back to me and then i'm going to publish it on amazon amazon self publishing right? so that's one of the tasks and the other thing sir well maybe you should make it as a list of resolution for this no i'm not making any lists again i think i said that last night problems with list is that yeah, you'll make a list. All right, so, you know, me and my wife have to be together. I mean, yes, I mean, that's not really a resolution, all right? We have to be here, we're doing whatever we can, right? And then and then down the down the list is, oh, yeah, I want to publish this book, right? And then third one, all right, I, I want to get my private life license, right? Third one, right? And then what else? What else? I don't know. I mean, oh, go get the mountains. Uh, oh, well, I mean, I have to travel now at the end of this month, right? Yeah, but that's not really a resolution, sir. All right? Those are things you have to do. So, buy a private pilot classes. Yes, that's, that should be in my list of things to do this year. At least, like, take an initiative. Maybe I can get it in 2024, right? Although, it's a little bit of money, too, sir. I mean, you know, nothing is free in this world. You know, you take a breath, even that costs you money, right? You see, that's like a hundred dollar breath, right? Hundred bucks breath, in any case. So, I have to be a little more serious if I want to do that, especially after that experience. Right? When, when, when I went down to freaking Orlando, right? And what happened in Charleston? Not Charleston, sir, not Carolina. Charlotte. Charlotte, North Carolina, where American Airlines flight got delayed like three times. Oh, my freaking God. And I'm like, I was talking to my wife. And he was, all right, okay, you talked about that last time, sir, so let's not talk about that. Sir, right, all right. Okay, I'm sorry, I apologize. So... <laughs> Um, now I have to make the other plan, right? To go to Pakistan and, uh, and then we have to make some plans as to what we want to do, right? And the worst part is going to be, obviously, right? I'll have to come back by myself, you know, back to America. 
back to being a lunatic. Well, I'm not a lunatic anymore, but you get you get my point, right? And um, and um, and uh, I'm just hoping that you know we will have some resolution about her visa soon. Oh shit! I have to send. I have to edit that that whole thing and send it to her. You know, uh, and without getting into like details, um, I have to edit this and send it to her. Hopefully, if not tonight, I'll send it to her tomorrow, right? Which is basically today. Which is basically today, sir. I mean, what are you talking about tomorrow? It's like freaking 12, 12, 20, 12, 25, right? All right, so, um, what else is going on in this world? Huh? Well, a lot of things going on. I have no idea. To be honest with you, I have been busy with like New Year's, uh, you know, with my family visiting me, et cetera, et cetera, right? So I'm really not sure, like, what is happening in the world, except that we have a new year. Right? Everybody celebrated. And, uh, and so here we are, right? Here we are. 2023, may it bring joy, peace, and happiness and health. Amen. I mean, we all right. So, um, I just uh, have to also. Oh shit! Another freaking thing I have to do for this window in my bedroom, right? I think I've been saying this. I have to do some sort of a noise, what do you call, a noise barrier. You know, I think in my head about these things that, oh, this is what I should do. I should have another window on top of the window, right on this side. That's one idea, but the freaking window is too huge. And how am I going to do that? So I think I, I want to talk to some people who are experts. Like window noise reduction, street noise, right? Or that freaking sense factory. I hope it shuts down at some point in time in future, near future, right? Listen, I don't mind if they're making noise in the morning on a weekday. The, the biggest issue is freaking Saturday morning. And that's when I, that, you know, this time what I did was this Saturday, I said, you know what? I'm gonna go into my tent, near where my washing machine is, right? Washing machine and washer and dryer. I have that small place there and I have that like freaking, you know, foldable mattress, you know, and, uh, oh shit, I, that's actually my, from my sister's place, I have, I have to, I have to give it back to her, but in any case, so, I, um, I, you know, that's what I did, and I slept in there, and I was having these weird freaking dreams, you know, and it's next to where the uh, air conditioning unit is, right, et cetera, et cetera, so I, I don't know, okay, all right. So that's the problem, right? Saturday and Saturdays are that's the only thing. Otherwise, I don't think so. I don't care. My apartment is nice. And you know, oh shit, I have to pay them the freaking mortgage. There it is. Mm. Tomorrow. See, I have so many things to do this freaking week that I'm already feeling like anxiety. Oh shit, I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to go after the money, I have to, you know, send the bills. And I have to get the, you know, get the drawings done, the plan, the blueprints, right? Yeah. Mm, well, you know, obviously, you know, we want to get paid and, you know, I have to pay the rent. I mean, I have to pay the freaking mortgage. I have to run a payroll for myself, my engineers, and even, even my wife, you know. So, because she works for me, at least part-time, right? But in any case, so am I turning my podcast again into like my work, you know, uh, stuff, you know. Okay, so let's, let's just, let's change the subject first for, for a second, right? Okay, so what, what do you guys want to talk about, huh? Oh, well, I talked about New Year and the calendar in my last brief podcast, right? So, uh... What is going to happen, I think, uh, in the future? What's going to happen in the future? Oh, what do you mean, what's going to happen in the future, sir? What if the calendar is actually really changed to like a metric calendar? I think that's going to be, that, 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 I think, okay, so this is the only thing I would say about the calendar. 
then that will mean that we have, we will have to adjust everything, including our computers, you know, all the, you know, all the calendars on the phone and, you know, all the devices. And then, you know, we will have to change the clocks and this and that, right? So that's a huge undertaking on a global scale, right? Now who's going to do that? Who's going to, who's going to implement that? I have no freaking idea. So, all right, so I'm just saying, right? Um, well, let's talk about some things that actually uh, I think are going to happen this year, right? I mean, I'm going to talk about politics, no politics. I hate talking about politics because the same bullshit story on either side of the aisle, right? Same like repetition of like bullshit, right? So let's not let's not talk about that. Let's talk about some things are positive right for example i understand that you know we are progressive and you know we want to be progressive in, in many ways and this and that right but we should not be making decisions especially decisions on on, on things like climate change right based on some teenagers like emotional speeches right that's not how we should actually make policies or climate change and all these other things, right? Not based on emotional. That's an engineering problem. I said that like last time too. And is this year going to be any different from let's say 2022? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Yes, there will be more, for example, electric and hybrid cars produced this year than last year, right? But then are the prices of these cars also going to go down so I can buy one of those? I don't think so. See, that's the freaking problem, right? So there's the freaking problem and, um, and uh, uh, electricity. Oh, this is what I wanted to talk about. Remember the whole, this, uh, you know, uh, fuss about like, oh, now we have come up with the technology, it's called fusion. Fusion technology, right? As opposed to like, what? Fission? So, fission is you basically split an item, right? You split an item and, and that actually creates a lot of like energy, right? And that's what our nuclear plants are right now right based on fission and they produce a lot a lot of like nuclear waste right so what is fusion i think i explained this to you guys last time but i want to take it a little farther what it means right what it means for for humanity and and, and then yes this is the answer i think this i think i said that maybe hydroelectric was once and it still is for example this electricity comes i think from niagara falls is that what it is? right i don't think it comes from fossil fuels to New Jersey, right? So that means that with the fusion technology where you basically combine two electrons or two atoms to create a bigger atom, right? Which is basically, I think, the building blocks of like, what do you call uh, matter, matter, right? And if you think about, for example, which I said that last time on my podcast was that not last time, I think in one of my previous podcasts, is that, yes, I mean, when assuming that, yeah, there was a big bang based on what Einstein said, right? Uh, which I kind of don't believe, to be honest with you. I'm not a big, big, I'm not a big, big bang, you know, kind of a fan. I think the universe um has been here will be here for the time of whatever right physical time although if you want to talk about what is time what it means to to be in the future present and past right so i mean are they connected maybe they are connected somehow right so, and that connection is when the moving image of time is the eternity is the moving image of time. No, no, it's the other way, sir. Who said that? Somebody said that as some philosopher. 
uh, time is the moving image of eternity. See that? Time is the moving image of eternity. So if this time goes this way, right? See, the time never goes this way, right? If it does, then that becomes a problem, right? All right, so, uh, uh, what the hell I was talking about that I jumped from one freaking topic to the other? I'm sorry, I apologize. All right, okay, so, fusion. Right? So, when the universe came into being, right, obviously, uh, let's assume, let's talk about like, for example, through Big Bang, right? Big Bang was this tiniest, tiniest, tiniest piece of energy which burst it into matter, right? It burst it into matter, and the, one of the first elements which were formed was hydrogen. Right? So hydrogen, hydrogen is a one. What is it? Hydrogen has one, right? One electron and one proton. Is that what it is? So hydrogen is basically one of the. What do you call it? one of the? Uh, um one of the what if you are is the uh i guess in the periodic, periodic table is that what it is i'm trying to remove the goddamn periodic table i don't actually but but where the hell it is i think hydrogen is is the uh element right is the is the lowest element in the uh in in the uh in the among among the elements of matter right right so hydrogen then uh, atoms were combined somehow to that natural whatever the hell was happening right after we being right and then they formed helium and then these other like heavier metals right i mean uh, elements right so that's how i think i think oxygen came into being and then that's how all these other helium i think was the second one right whatever right and so i think what the scientists and the engineers have done now is that they have created this sort of if you think about it this creation of matter in a lab means they have combined two elements or whatever right two atoms to form a bigger atom right and that actually produces a lot of energy right and that's what they're going to use to produce electricity. Uh, I mean, I don't know the details. Don't ask me, right, how that happens. But in any case, so what that means is that the fusion is actually going to give the humans the ability, for example, right? I mean, ability to actually, um, let's say, if you're combining two hydrogen atoms to make helium, right? are you know you combine two helium atoms now to make i don't know what oxygen or one of those nitrogen i have no idea right so that means that now we know the technology to actually create matter matter from like very basic right so if we have now had that capability and you know while doing that there's a lot of energy is produced and that's how sun actually works right sun has fusion it basically creates these like smaller molecules into bigger molecules right and this through like huge amounts of like you know like temperatures of like in i don't know three thousand degrees celsius whatever the hell it is right even more probably thirty five thousand celsius i don't know don't quote me on this right i don't want to be kicked out of fucking youtube or my channels just because you know i had an opinion and it was not scientifically proved all right so what i'm saying is that i think humans have finally come up with a, a capability right now they have the ability and capability to combine two atoms to make it into a bigger atom right so what does that mean so that means that they may be able to who knows create life huh I don't know. Uh, creating life is uh, no. Okay, so I say this all the time. That, for example, our human body is actually the alien technology. It means whatever, whoever the aliens were, whoever, however they came up with, uh, naturally speaking, right? 
naturally it all happened. It's not like somebody came here onto Earth from another planet and they say, all right, you know what, this is our DNA. And just like, remember the, the, the movie Prometheus? You know, when the engineer comes and he basically drinks something and then basically he just like, he spreads his DNA, right? Onto Earth and that's how the humans were born. Is that what it is? I don't think that has happened and I don't think that somebody actually has to, I mean, the, the whole process of like, for example, matter, I mean, this is like the basic of like how you create matter, right? Because you take hydrogen and then you combine two hydrogens and then it makes helium, right? Helium is a, a heavier element and then you combine whatever, right? And then, and then actually it creates matter and that's the key to this physical universe, right? So that means that if human beings have come up with this technology finally, it was good, first of all, yeah, the issue of electricity probably will be solved forever. No? Isn't this what, uh, what's his name? The astrophysicist, what's his name? Michio Kaku talks about, you know? How we can be a class two or class three civilization, right? I think we are right now, we are at a class one which is basically we are nothing. Hmm? If there are other civilizations in this universe, which we don't know if they are, right? If they are class three, they're basically taking all their energy from their, from their um, parent star. So they, they are harnessing all the energy from their star. And we are not, we just have like solar panels and all that, right? but we're not harnessing energy from our star yet, right? So this could be one step towards being a class civilization, part of the galactic empire. The word is, no, I don't want to be part. And what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is that this actually probably gives us the ability, right, to actually create like matter, right? Create matter in the process, you know, we release energy and produce electricity, right? There you go, that's it. So I think this this is this is a I think this is a, a what do you call mono mantra yeah, for human, just like for example, who said that Neil Armstrong when he stepped on our moon, right? When Neil Armstrong actually stepped on our moon, he was like, Oh my god, this is the uh small step for humankind, but uh giant step for no no small step for man but giant step for humankind is that is that what he said again don't quote me sorry but um uh fusion is i think it's like a small step for man and woman and i have to now quote all the other gazillion genders here right and um so that means that we can create matter without repeating myself, we can create matter. I think now we can combine, if you can combine atoms in the, who the fuck knows what we're going to do, let's say 50 years down the road, right? Who knows, and maybe we will combine everything, like not everything, sir, when we, maybe we will combine, you know, um, I don't know who the hell was. I mean, I mean, you know, now, right now, you can combine hydrogen and, and oxygen to create water, right? Obviously, this, this, this simple. That's easier. I mean, I'm not saying that anybody can do it, but, but you can do it in, in a lab, right? But how about you create, like, for example, gold? Uh, I'm not talking about gold or, or for example, uh, diamonds made in lakes, right? Yeah, diamonds are made in, can be made in labs. Is that how they actually make diamonds in a lab? No freaking idea, right? So without jumping from one topic to the other, what I'm saying is that if that's the case, maybe down the road, we will have that alien technology, how our DNA, right? When we produce a child, when you produce a child, right? The child is produced from the tiniest, from the tiniest cell, of our body, right? Tiniest cell of living cell of our body, which is basically through 
this uh, this com combination right combining of the sperm that goes into the the uh, the the egg of the female right and then that's when you know the uh what's that process called you just biology right 101 and that's when you know the dna is exchanged and then the dna actually basically is everything the dna in your genes is everything when i say everything it means it also uh not only i think physically like produces you are you know with your hair color and whether you're gonna have like blue eyes or you're gonna have like freaking i don't know pink eyes or or if you're gonna have like i don't know green hair or, or what kind of skin and whatnot right and it may also be affecting you are like um what do you call your uh <clears throat> emotional right your emotional self not only a physical self but also your emotional self i think somehow is written in your dna right i think so again don't quote me on this one all right so so if that's the case and then if somehow the the the, the alien technology are producing a human being or not only a human being but an animal right um that may be the future where are we gonna oh shit so that means that we're gonna produce what like like human like like robots no i think we, if, if that actually becomes reality i think we're gonna produce humans humans are gonna produce humans wow what don't they produce already sir you have sex and then yeah but see that's that's the alien technology we cannot reproduce right well, we can reproduce i mean biological speaking but then we can in yeah you can clone yourself or you can clone your dog or you clone your whatever right you have a horse you can clone him or her right but uh to create like the way life creates uh animals are created you know from the dna and the tiniest cells and then then you know the you know they multiply, 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 and then here you are. Jesus. So that technology is the alien technology. I mean, I'll give you an example. For example, look, you see how I can do this, right? In order for you to do this, if in order for you to create something like this, where I can do this with my finger, right? You will need, for example, if you want to come up with a robot who looks like a more like a humanoid robot right you'll have to have at least three four three or four motors in here just to do this action three or four tiny motors in there and, and, and then all the other you know gears and whatnot but we don't have like for example this does not have a gear in there there's no motor in there so what kind of technology is this i can do this without you know at the flicker of my mind oh, i can do this right through my through my brain and i send the signal and it does this right so same thing right see that and then i can walk and you know unless i have a problem so that's the technology that uh, we don't have we can't produce <laughs> right yeah i mean we have like almost like human like robots right now what like what are those like the sex robots from china you can over oh my god you can order like a what like a sex robot from china and and you know it comes in what like through amazon usps right but what i'm saying is that yeah those are like basically just dolls you know you know they yeah they may have like they may look like a human you know like whatever right but they have machines in them right obviously motors and whatnot right and uh and so that's what i'm talking about is that if we can come up with that technology which is this is the alien technology and does that mean the aliens have created us no aliens have not created us and i don't think there are any aliens if there are i'm not sure i don't think they are here in the ships with cloaking devices to hide the ships right or themselves maybe who the fuck knows but but what i'm saying is that is that life has actually begun you know 
Yeah, well, I mean, water came from asteroids, and we have now we have proof, not kind of, but we have proof that the uh, amino acids were found in, in asteroids as well, right? M amino acids are the building blocks of life, right? So, so there you go. So, so it could be that amino acids actually did come from another planet or another distant, you know, whatever, right? Star system where they had the, the you know, where they had what do you call the head the uh the life right and then basically it's just life just traveled through these asteroids into the uh into our star system right and uh and uh and that's how they it started life here on earth right so that we know that but then but then how amino acids turned into like life right and that has been proven as well that under certain circumstances sunlight water all that right amino acids can actually turn into life there you go and that would be like really basic form of life right and and that then that, that would then lead to like unicellular organism right bacteria and whatever else right if you have studied biology 101 in your high school, then you should know that, right? Well, I mean, do I remember any of that? No, I don't. Because, you know, I studied myths more than biology. But obviously, biology was part of our, uh, what do you call, uh, first two years of high school, right? Or even before that, right? And so, <clears throat> and so these building blocks, amino acids, um, lead to life all right lead to life cells and cells are life right there you go so i think i beat this topic to death with food i started with fusion and then i ended up with like life and amino acids and all that right but these are interesting topics right very interesting topics you know i didn't say that again that you know some goddamn alien ship came here and they delivered like oh here we go bags of amino acids right through their you know like uh what do you call their delivery system right no i don't think that has happened um if yeah, all this has happened naturally and uh, that's how it should have been and that's how it has all right and uh hence you and i oh yeah i know right on this planet all right, so uh, is there anything else I want to talk about? Because it's already 52 minutes into my podcast, and uh, I'm going to be uh, soon passing the fuck out in my bed, you can see, right? I'll probably watch one of those Netflix, although I hate Netflix. I'll probably watch, like, maybe one of the new movies, or, oh, shit, hold on a sec. Uh... Uh, Yellowstone, I think I'm going to watch one of those episodes because I haven't watched it. The other one, Tulsa King, Tulsa King, the person with Sylvester Stallone, that's a funny show. Um, and then, uh, oh yeah, Orwell, Orwell is big. It was big this year and I missed it. Now I can watch it, right? Orwell season three, I can watch, right? One of those. And then just go to sleep, man. You know, I need that freaking sleep. It's just weird that after dinner, you know, I had dinner and then it was some great, amazing food. And then I, you know, I got like, you know, dozed out. I mean, you know, I felt like kind of like sleepy. And then I came here to my bedroom. I was trying to like sleep, but I couldn't sleep. I was having this jerk experiences, right? Weird. I thought I was going to go to sleep for like 10, 15 minutes, but then I'm Check my body would jerk and then I will wake up, right? I'm like, holy shit. But in any case, so, and then we talked about a lot of things, you know, when we were having these discussions, me and my cousin and his wife, right? And, you know, these late night discussions, we talked about a lot of things, really interesting things. And so, uh, without repeating myself again, it was good to see them after such a long time, especially I saw him, you know. Because I, you know, I remember when he was born and, you know, in, in the town of Gilgit where we grew up, right? My many kids. So, 
uh, I think I think that's enough for uh, for this podcast, right? Oh, so okay, so yellow apparently Yellowstone is going to have another like a spin off. 1883 Libertas. I know. I think there's one with now. What's the name? Harrison Ford is in one of those, right? Whoever says that Yellowstone 1937. Well, I haven't looked into that. But in any case, so I'm going to watch that and um, and just start my week, you know, start my freaking week. And, uh, um, I mean, you know, the new year, new week, new year, right? Uh, with, uh, you know, with some added uh, enthusiasm, right? Enthusiasm with added, like, inspired and added kind of, like, you know, a uh, way of looking at life, right? You know, in this year. Which again, you know, hopefully will give us, you know, more help and happiness and uh, prosperity, right? Peace. Um, not a lot of freaking politics because that's just uh, my freaking God. In any case, I don't want to talk about that. I have no idea what's going on. I'll more listen to my radio show tomorrow, whichever radio show I'm listening to. I will know what the fuck is going on in this world, right? So I don't need to actually even like get on like. CNN or Fox News or BBC, any of those on my phone, I don't want to do that. No. Um, so, um, I have to buy those tickets. I have to buy the ticket. I'm going to talk to my wife as soon as I get up, and, you know, and uh, going to get my bagel, obviously, tomorrow, right, from one of the bagel shops, right, for breakfast. And, um, and, uh, yeah, again, you know, it just sucks that me and my wife are not together. But if we were together, sir, do you think you'd be able to do this podcast while she's sleeping in the bed? Not sure. Right? I probably will. Right? But I would do it at a different time. I won't do it at one o'clock in the morning, you know? When she wants to sleep, obviously, you know, she would sleep and I'll do it. Who knows next next day, right? In any case, and earlier, I had to do this earlier. I'm sorry, I apologize, you know. But uh, uh, I think I, I talked about uh, a few things that I, I actually I, mean, I was interested in talking about. I mean, and uh, there are a couple of other things I wanted to talk about, but then I forgot. It's all right, next time. So, um, Again, I uh, presume you all had a great uh, New Year's, you know, whether you partied hard or you stayed home and you did nothing, you just played video games or you were in goddamn bush with great real parties and you were doing what, like, acid and more lie and let's not go there. Okay, that's your life, it's not my life, that's your whatever, right? Whether you drinking or you're smoking weed or that's not my, you know, that's not my say. That's not for me to say what you should and what you shouldn't do. Oh, maybe I should do a podcast on that one next to me. Huh? But again, you know, these kids are, are, out there are more, more intelligent, much more intelligent. They're younger, but they, you know, they're more intelligent. Although some of them are like fucking idiots and dumb, right? But whatever. But they have to learn this in a you know, through their own experiences and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, right? Whatever they have to do, whatever whatever they're doing, dating or you know, exploring life or whatever it is, right? And yes, New York is not an easy place if you are if you're looking for a date or if you're looking for a boyfriend or a girlfriend, right? Yeah, it's it's it's, it's a tough place. But then, if you, I mean, obviously you are here for a reason, right? I mean, I'm, not, I'm married, but I've gone through this, you know, before I met my wife, I've gone through this a lot, you know. It was just, just, just through New York, that dating scenes, I'm just like, oh my God, I got sick and tired. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing this anymore, you know. I need to, 
you know, more like I need to just find somebody and that I relate to him. And, and, and this is the great, greatest thing, one of the greatest things that have, has happened this year for me, you know, last year, actually. And so, obviously, you know, not relationships are not easy, no matter how, you know, good, how much love you and your significant other may have, there will always be like, you know, uh, differences, you'll have to do compromising, you know, like that's what life is, you know, you have to compromise. Um, because no, you know, it's not like you will be living your life the way you used to live your life, right? Now you are living with somebody else, you'll be living, I'll be living with somebody else. And that's a big change for me. So, so I have to, you know, I have to, um, I have to make sure that, you know, I'm, I'm ready to do that, which I am. I think my, my, my wife is like, she's very intelligent, you know, caring. Uh, and, and all the above, although sometimes she can be a little, wow, but I guess, you know, that's, you know, that's, she's my wife. She cares about me, right? Of course, I care about her too. So, all right, it's already, um, almost one o'clock actually it is one o'clock and with that said i uh, uh i'm gonna uh, close my podcast i'll see you all next sunday or monday the fun day